Good afternoon, Justin O'Keefe from Talent Force Recruitment. On our mission to get parents back into back into the workforce, pivot, relaunch their careers. Today we'd like to talk about the employment situation, the the the, the state of recruitment as it stands in August, in August twenty August twenty sixteen. We've had a rough couple of years in Ireland, seven or eight seven or eight rough years. The 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 recruitment business, the 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 employment scene is one of complete complete change what we would say is there are no hard and fast rules different parts of ireland different industries situation absolutely varies so there is no there is no one size fits all um approach what we, what we can cer certainly say is the challenge for you is is getting a lay of the land what is the what is the employment market like and where are the possibilities and for that there are two issues that we would say one needs to address before you before you jump in one is is having the information understanding where the opportunities are the sorts of roles industries that are, they're doing well and having the confidence to go back out and to be to be a, to be a great candidate knowing your position knowing your story looking what it is that are the skills that you can bring to bear and bear in the company so if you look back over the last 15 years you could say the world is a very different place. There are new industries, there are companies that didn't exist, there are companies that were dreamt up in American um, colleges in the in the early early noughties, which are now bit billion dollar. There's many buzzwords, there's now cloud computing, there's data analytics, there's all these brand new brand new things coming along. It just it looks radically different. Your challenge is to figure out the opportunities, figure out where they are. And to present yourself as a credible and a great candidate. So there are four things, three things, three and a half things that we would say about about the about about, the, about careers and, and jobs today, the recruitment scene. One is that first up, we would see careers as being much more self-directed, where candidates or employ employees very much take responsibility for the skills, for the roles that they undertake. And they enter roles and leave roles with a portfolio of skills and a portable toolkit, which, which is of use elsewhere. So that's, that's a very different track, whereas before, you know, when I went to college, it was very much about getting into a role and working your way through a company. So it's much more self-directed. Second thing is moving around careers now really isn't that unusual. So when I was in college, there was a certain stigma around chopping and changing every three, four or five years and there'd be question marks raised. That, that isn't the case anymore. And certainly what we would say is for the right sort of employer, for more of a, a perhaps a more progressive employer, your skills are going to be an asset. There is no question as to why you may have chopped or changed. It's very much about who you are and what you can deliver today. And whilst the world has changed incredibly and there are new industries and lots of new buzzwords, we would see two really important things that are really very much should not be forgotten, is that professionalism and people skills are always in demand. You can learn to use new software tools, you can learn the new buzzwords, but at its very core, you hire people who are professionals and who can work well with other people. The other stuff I'd see is somewhat technical. So the things that we did when we were being trained, while some of the technical skills are not relevant, those core professionalism people skills are always learned. So that is at a high level how the marketplace that for, for Canada's is today, how the job scene is like. Flexibility, which is what ta Talent Force is about and getting parents back into work, isn't terribly common, but it's absolutely creeping in amongst the right sorts of employers if you were to say, well, where do I start? How do I identify opportunities? We would suggest looking at for publications like this. So this is an Irish Times um, Best Workplaces 2016 issued in February this year. It contains a list of a couple of hundred companies. And so if you're look, looking for who are the progressive companies who we're looking for, who are more open to a broader skill set, that's the sort of companies that we would suggest talking to. Hope this has been a benefit. I look forward to speaking with you. Take care.